Good morning folks. So, uh, it's really really early in the morning and uh, like obviously Monday uh, so back to work as usual and uh, yeah so uh, don't know what you thought of um, uh, you thought about uh, Saturday's uh, video uh, on the HMS Belfast uh, some of you seem to have liked it um, yeah uh, I quite enjoyed it um, I say it was a little bit awkward with the um, like you're not supposed to film thing but then again actually I don't know maybe maybe doing shorter clips actually works better I'm not sure yet I'm gonna I'm definitely thinking about that so like when I go to some place or whatever uh, instead of just doing like one long clip perhaps just do shorter clips uh, might make it a little bit more interesting uh, because again sometimes with videos like when you're telling a story you have to have a rhythm uh, there has to be a rhythm a natural rhythm to telling the story uh, so that the pace goes along at a nice little pace so that uh, you know that people don't get bored uh, um, or whatever sort of thing so that you know um, like I say nice little sort of pace so I don't know I'm just kind of thinking about the sort of the length of the clips that I do especially if I go to a, an interesting historic building or something or, or whatever do you know what I mean or, or interesting place or whatever it might be uh, so that's what I'm thinking of doing anyway so but um, yeah anyway um, do you know, I have absolutely no idea what this building is. See, uh, what's name Park's just over there, uh, St. James's Park. Uh, and then I walk back that way, obviously back to, and that's the mall in front of us, by the way. So just so, just to give you reference of where we are. Uh, so that's the mall uh, in front of us, and that's the gates into St. James's Park. No idea what these buildings are. Uh, well, this one in particular uh, intrigues me because it's got a slight look and I don't know how old this building actually is but it's got a slight look of um, sort of Tudor to it uh, that's kind of what it makes me think of um, but I must admit I have absolutely no idea uh, and I have no idea what kind of building it is I think it's military uh, I think it's something to do with the military because uh, I've definitely seen like I don't know if it's and again I couldn't swear to it whether it's household cavalry or or whether it's horse, no I don't know if it's horse guards because horse guards is down that way so mm, I'm not entirely sure to be quite honest uh, maybe if we walk around the front of this building uh, I guess maybe it'll give us some idea uh, but otherwise I have no idea what this building actually is um, so yeah we'll just have a little little mooch around here uh, there's a big set of gates on here as well um, but I think, like I said, I think it's something to do with the military, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a little look here. So we're not far from like Piccadilly Circus here. Uh, Piccadilly Circus basically down that way. Uh, and Haymarket, essentially. Uh, so this is the front of this building. It looks very castle-y looking. Um, but like I said, I must admit, I have absolutely no idea what it actually is. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, so this is Paul Mall uh, Road, I guess. Uh, yeah. It's very, uh, it, it looks so old, doesn't it? You know what I mean? It's like, I have no idea just how old this building actually is uh, look at those big old gates on it and all um, but like I say for some reason it makes me think of Tudor but the chimneys are not Tudor the chimneys are definitely not Tudor it could be Victorian even I mean the Victorians did make buildings looking slightly gothic looking so um, do you know I must admit I've got a clue what this building is hmm interesting okay let's just let's carry on down here for a minute and we'll see where this takes us I guess obviously if I go that way it's going to take me back to the to the mall essentially the mall <laughs> the mall mall the mall the royal mall they're new 
they're definitely new gates uh, or newer gates maybe I should say uh, oh look, look at that building over there I don't know uh, the sort of crests and um, there's, a, there's a name for that and I can't think of what it is where you've got coats of arms and they've got a flipping there's a particular hel hel uh, heraldry hel uh, I can't even say it properly heraldry uh, that's uh, well, anything to do with like coats of arms and sort of insignias and stuff like that essentially uh, well that's a uh, I mean I don't know if insignias is still the right terminology um, yeah. I must admit this building intrigues me I have no idea what the hell it is to be quite honest uh, look at that thing in front of us by the way uh, it's got like a very continental with that little balcony thing that looks kind of intriguing yeah cool okay so we can't go down that road I've just noticed there's a sentry box there and there's a, an armed police officer standing there so uh, one assumes obviously that he can't go that way uh, so okay I've never been down here before to be quite honest in all the years I've what's that, what's that? I've never it's like I said about with London you know you can walk down the street 20 years and then just miss stuff you know what I mean you'd never know stuff was there until you walked past it it's amazing I do love London for that uh, it's uh, and I guess like I say it froze, goes froze back to what that guy said uh, the one I, we were, saw his house uh, Dr Johnson I think it was uh, and he said like when a man's tired of London a man's tired of life because the thing is it, you know I've lived here for 15 years practically uh, and there's still parts of it that you know I walk around the corner somewhere and I'm flipping and go, wow never knew that was there before do you know what I mean it's like it's, it is pretty amazing so I kind of see why perhaps he said that really in a way because like you know uh, how could you ever get tired of the place because you discover stuff all the time if you really have a good mind to have a good wander around and stuff you know what I mean uh, can we get through there I have no idea I didn't I thought it was gonna be there's a gate here and it's open so I'm assuming oh right, okay so this leads us back into st. James's Park then okay uh, right okay all right let's go this way uh, yeah so I've no idea what that building was like I said I've seen like uh, troops uh, on horseback uh, not sure what uh, what kind of troops they were no hang on this is Green Park what am I talking about I said St. James's then I'm on the wrong side St. James's is over there this is Green Park Ooh, flipping heck um, but yeah uh, so one second just let me get through here um, yeah so like I said I have no idea what that building was uh, so uh, just trying to think which direction to go in actually um, yeah not entirely sure right now uh, I guess we'll just head back this way because I don't want to go too far from work uh, obviously because like obviously I want to get back in time for work so obviously I don't want to go too far uh, hmm yeah some of these flipping buildings are amazing and grand looking aren't they look at that that's the back of that one with the balcony at the front I think if I'm not mistaken um, yeah oh boy so yes uh, so I, I uh, I'm still waiting for this uh, bonus that we're supposed to be getting uh, still no sign of it yet uh, I was told it was supposed to be in September but you know I've heard no sight and the sound of it so far uh, I'm really looking forward to when that turns up because I really want to try and do this Paris trip because uh, like I said um, you know that's been on the cards for a couple of years now and I really would like to do that I really would uh, you see this is all this is all gated off and security and that's where the police officer was standing just around there just around that corner there's another police officer in the box there so I have no idea what this is actually maybe it's an embassy or something I don't know actually 
uh, but it all seems to be part of that first part of the building that we saw uh, that looks slightly castle-y looking um, but uh, yeah and no doubt uh, they're, they're watching me like a hawk right now by the way there's cameras everywhere on this flipping thing there's, there's, there's one right in front of me here there's another one uh, oh, actually, that might be more of a spotlight. Actually, a, I'm passing a camera right now. I didn't want to point my camera at it because, like I say, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I'm kind of. Oh no, that is another camera. You see, there's tons of cameras right along this fence. So the fact that it's so camered off, and you've got an armed police officer outside the one of the entrances to this whole complex of buildings here. Uh, I don't know. I'm just. You know me, <laughs> right nosy so and so. I was just curious as to what it is. You know, um, you know, I, I, I like to say for some reason I, I don't know why embassy came into my head, but maybe it's an embassy of some sort. But pff, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. It, like I say, it could be military. It could be something to do with the military or something. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, look at the squirrels. <laughs> oh boy. Right. Um, Okay, so for the time being, I don't want to be mindful of not pointing the camera towards any gates and stuff, or even towards the cameras themselves, because, like I said, <laughs> they might think I'm up to no good. Oh boy. Um, but flipping heck, there's cameras everywhere. There's four, three cameras just on that one post there on the corner. Flipping heck. Holy moly. Oh boy. Right. Okay, so we're back at the mall. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, so that's St. James's Park in front of us. Green Park is behind me. Uh, so, yeah, now I'm not sure what to do or where to go. Uh, yeah, actually, let me let's just have a quick walk down here a second because because. There was something I noticed when I walked down here and I came through the main gate or well, one of the gates of St. James's I should say uh, and I was coming down uh, across there and I noticed these uh, sort of big um, plastic covered um, what do you call it? Flipping heck, oh my brain's not working now uh, plastic covered um, oh never mind, I can't, I can't even uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, my brain just doesn't want to work this morning, it really doesn't. Um, so look, you see there's another another entrance to this place. Uh, and like I say, that, that Cassidy looking building is all part of it as well, as far as I can tell and work out. Um, so I don't know what it is, to be quite honest. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's something to do with the army. Maybe it's something to do with... Because there's that other entrance that we walked past just a minute ago. Just down there with the police officer standing there. Uh, so, hmm, I have no idea off the top of my head. And look, there's even more cameras. Well, say, look, but like I said, I don't want to be pointing cameras at... Yeah, pointing my camera at the cameras. Because, like, you know, I say, obviously, they might think I'm up to no good. Uh, they might even think that now, to be quite honest. I don't know. Yeah, this is what I was trying to explain. These plastic covered uh, oblong boxes I suppose but it's not an actual box I think it's just plastic covering something and I was just curious as to whether because it's like about four of these things um, and I was just thinking oh, are, they, are they setting something up for some sort of celebration or something uh, you know is there something happening in the near future uh, that needs whatever these things are because uh, like I said, there's about four of them. There's three here, and then there's about another one or two a bit further down. I mean, it could just be repairs or something. It could be just repairing something. I don't know. I've no idea what what was standing there. But do you know what? No. And it's it's got plastic wrap stuff around it. So that makes me think. And with that sort of frame at the top. You see, I think it's some sort of, there's going to be some sort of thing because uh, it looks like where cameras would be stationed at the top You know what I mean? So it's like for the news or for the, you know, for the TV people anyway, for whatever 
you know, like they look like they might be for the. I don't know, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, of course, obviously. Do you know what I mean? I'm just curious. Uh, see, there's another two down there. Um, well, like I said, I think, and as I said, I could be wrong, but I think maybe the. I don't know if it's the Queen's official birthday thing or something, or. I don't know what it is, to be quite honest. Oops. Get across this road, man. There's traffic coming down here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I say, it could just plain and simply be maybe they're erecting something or it could be repairs to something, but it's just the way they look. It makes me think. But then again, why would they have a camera thing right over there on that side? That doesn't make any sense because the trees are getting in the way, wouldn't they? Surely. I mean, if you was going to do it, you'd do it on the edge of the road here, wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? So that whatever parade is going down this road, presumably, uh, you'd get a clear unobstructed view. So, yeah, maybe I'm completely wrong. Like I say, I have no flipping idea. Oh, hang on. I can see the top of a lamp post lying on the floor. Oh, that's what it is. Ah, oh, I was completely wrong, you see. Nah, that's what it is. Look, you can see there's a top of a lamp post over there. Can you see that, guys? Um, actually, uh, actually, wait. Oh, you can't get through there, can you? <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll just walk around, I guess. Or oh, I'll go underneath. Yeah, let's go underneath. And go. Ah. Yeah. Oh, so that's what it is. It's just a little lamppost thing. Oh, look. And he's got one in his hand there, look. Ah, so it is a repair job. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> right. Okay, so that solved that little mystery. <laughs> Uh, I should have realised, really, I guess, because of all these lamp post things here. Um, but I noticed the one in his hand was quite big, actually. Uh, yeah, there's another, yeah. So there's two lying on the floor. But they look much bigger and much more ornate than these ones, interestingly. Although, maybe I'm wrong. Sometimes it's difficult to judge size, especially in distance and stuff. But, I don't know, yeah, maybe they're the same size, I guess. Um, but yeah, you see, look, there's a... Oh no, that's a, that's another building, sorry. I thought was still, we were still at the back of that other one then. No, I just noticed all the flags there, look. You've got all those flags that... Different countries, so... I guess that's what made me think maybe it's some sort of... Um, embassy thing, I guess, perhaps. Wow, man. A lot of people riding bikes today. Mind you, a lot of people riding bikes all the time. Uh, it doesn't specifically seem to designate this as a cycle path or anything. I don't see any of them on the floor that states that, so... Uh, Alright, fair enough. Uh, you know what, I swear to God, I don't, I'm not, I don't really like cyclists, man. <laughs> it's, it's just that, like... A lot of the time they don't obey the, the laws of the flipping road half the time. Do you know what I mean? Like if they, they come to a set of traffic lights that are on red, all the, all the other traffic stops and a lot of them just chance around and just go flying across. Do you know what I mean? And it's really annoying. You know? And then sometimes you get them riding on the pavement and stuff. Like I say, I just find it rather annoying at times. Huh, look at this. Oh, I've just noticed. Oh, how flipping what's name is that? You remember the other day when I was saying that I don't remember seeing any statues of our present queen? Uh, flipping heck. So there you go. Uh, there is a statue of our present queen. Queen Elizabeth. Wait a minute though. Wait a minute. Shouldn't that be Queen Elizabeth II? Shouldn't, but then again it says 1900 to 2002. So obviously it can't be... Uh, one of the other no it is our it is our present queen and that's her uh, husband or I think the uh, correct term is consort isn't it no it's not no, uh, sorry no that's her dad isn't it King George the sixth is that not her dad I think see like I say I don't pay a lot of attention to the royal thing so I don't really know 100% uh, but I think that might be her dad um, but yeah, so that I, so obviously I was completely wrong then. 
know what I mean? Um, I mean, it's the only one I've ever seen, to be quite honest. It's the only one I've ever come across. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a statue of our present queen. Mm. Okay, so like I said, I stand corrected. Um, look at this, I love this. I love these. Uh, there's one at um, St Pancras Station. I don't know if it's by the same artist because it looks very similar sort of work. Uh, very, very similar. So I don't know if it's the same artist or what. Um, but these 3D sort of relief, whatever you want to call it, it's presumably bronze. It looks as though it's bronze. The one in the station is definitely bronze. Um, again, I've done videos of it. Uh, it looks really cool. I love it actually. Look at the detail and stuff, man. That's got to be cast. That's got to be cast. But even to make a cast of that, look at the intric intricacy of it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, wow! That is so amazing, man. Flipping heck. Obviously it's all to do with the war. That's the Queen Mother. That I do know. That's the Queen Mother. Uh, so, that's the Queen Mother. Uh, and then... Uh, oh, that's interesting. God, he doesn't half look like the present Queen's... Oh no, no, that's, that's King George, isn't it? So that's King George, that's the Queen Mother, that might be Elizabeth, but I'm not 100%, uh, or that could be Elizabeth there. Oh hang on, no, that's got to be Queen Elizabeth, because, and in fact that looks more like her, to be quite honest, that looks like Princess Anne. I think that's Princess Anne, because Princess Anne, I th is she older? Do you know, I can't, like I said, guys, I, I don't really know, because like I say, it's not something I follow. Um, do you know what I mean? It's not something that I'm like massively interested in or whatever sort of thing. So I think that's who those people were just then. Let's go and check this side out. Uh, I might walk, no, actually I won't walk back up there. I was thinking maybe I'll walk back up there, but uh, I've got to be mindful of the time and what the time actually is and what have you. So there's the Queen Mother again. Uh, don't know who those people are. Oh look, and we're off to the races. Oh, I say it. Oh, what ho? Yes, rather. Oh look, and there's the corgis. <laughs> oh boy. Right. Okay, folks. Uh, so I think I'm going to head back towards work. Uh, this has been a long vlog, hasn't it? I've not stopped since I started when we were down there at that building. I've just c continuous vlog. Uh, which I don't always do necessarily um, yeah hang on sorry I'm getting a bit of wind now don't know how, it, that's one of the problems with uh, especially this time of year oh look there's the horses again I think this is the whole household cavalry you know guys I could be wrong but I'm almost certain that's who these guys are and they just come out for early morning exercise or whatever uh, I think that's who these guys are um, like I say, I could be wrong because I'm, I'm no expert and obviously they're not wearing any particular insignia or anything so, or any kind of particular type of uniform that would suggest that but but that's who I think they might be oh, you've got a dapple grey there and you've got a couple of greys and a couple of chestnuts yay <laughs> no carriage though this morning Right, uh, I keep saying that, don't I? Right, folks, blah, 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 blah. Um, right, hang on, sorry. Just changing hands. I've got it on the, uh, that little tripod thing, so, um, because I've got the legs extended, uh, because I've got the legs extended, uh, when I'm holding it, and especially if I hold it too tight, they start moving around in my hand. Uh, so, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah okay folks uh yeah right i'm definitely gonna leave it here i know i keep saying it oh. right for now i'm gonna leave it there and i'll catch you guys later bye for now